Hey guys, Savvy Tech Girl here. Uh, we are going to look at downloading and installing and then setting up the perfect player app. Um, I'm going to be doing it on a Windows machine. You guys can do it on Android, um, Linux, any platform that you would like, but I'm just going to go through um, starting right from downloading it and we're just going to be using Windows. So uh, first of all I want to um, just do a shout out to Team Expat. They have um, allowed me to do a video for them which goes through and um, is going to relate this perfect player to their service. So we're going to be using their settings um, when, when getting everything set up. So I'm just going to go into Google and I'm going to type perfect player. Alright, so click on perfect player. So the first thing we're going to see is this um, Nick Labs come up and that's actually the one that I'm looking for. Just going to go into the Nick Labs. Alright, and this brings us to their main page. Okay, so you can get it on Google Play. Uh, they've got the Android versions. I just want to go into the download area and again you can do Linux and I am going to do Windows so I'm simply going to click download and I'm going to I'm a save as type of person I've actually already downloaded it uh, let's just put it on my desktop for now okay so it doesn't take long it's not a very large file and once we've downloaded it I'm just going to do um, a quick installation with you so you can see how simple it is and then as soon as we have done that I am going to walk through the actual settings for you um, when you're going to be entering the links for the um, electronic program guide and um, then you will be all up and running Okay, so our perfect player has finished downloading and now I am simply going to click on run. Very easy to do the installation. Um, I do already have it installed so we may just get some messages that come up. So do I want to allow this app from Unloan Publisher? Yes, that's fine. And set up language. So we are going to do English and this is just saying that um, it's going to use the wizard and it's going to set it up. So I'm going to click on next. I always use the default area, um, the default setting when I do install programs. You guys can choose wherever you like on your hard drive. Maybe you have um, a hard drive where you just install software. So at this point you're just going to enter exactly where you would like to install the software and I'm going to click next. I'm going to call it perfect player and I do want to create a desktop icon so I just click on next and I'm simply going to install so mine's just going to overwrite the files that were already created and once the installation is done we are going to be ready to do a full setup of the Team Expat electronic program guide so you can see it doesn't take long um, once it gets going the installation goes very quickly and it's going to prompt us once it finishes do we want to open up the launch the perfect player so at this point I can just click on finish and then the perfect player is going to open so now we're going to get into our next step which is setting up the guide Okay, so we have a perfect player installed. Um, we've gone through that, so now our next step is we actually want to add the um, playlist and the EPG URL to our system. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to um, your playlist area in the top and you can click on the plus bar. Now I have mine set up already, but we'll just go in, click the plus. And at this point you're going to name it whatever you like so I'm going to just call it Team Expat and make sure that you have your um, selection on M3U selected and then we're going to put the URL in. Now this URL is going to come from your service provider so in this case um, I am going to put it in here and you'll be able to um, enter your own username and password. So their username I'm using just for this is going to be demo 
and I'm going to put a password in as test. Okay, so again this is going to come from your service provider and from here we can just click OK. So um, I've already added it, that's why it's giving me that error message, so that's fine. And then the next thing you are going to want to do is add this EPG URL. So again, we can click on the plus sign. You can name it whatever you like. So um, we can name it expat. Again, that's your choice, what you want to name it. And then we're going to put the link in. Yes. So you can just follow along. This is the link that you're going to be using, and I will put it in the notes at the bottom. And again, I'm going to get an error message because I already have it added. Um, all right, so these are, this is what you're going to see on your screen. Now, if we go over to our properties, again, this link is going to be pulled from what we've already entered. And you want to make sure that the guide, the file link is here. You can uh, go under these settings here and just make sure that the download playlist on startup is selected and the download the EPG on startup is also selected. Okay, so at this point, you're pretty much set to go. We can go over to the playback, hardware acceleration I have enabled, um, rendering quality, so you can either do it for speed or for quality. Um, font size, so just some basic settings you can go through or you can just leave them default. At this point, um, I have just left mine default and I'm just gonna click OK. All right, now if I click at the bottom here and do my reload files, I'm going to get an error message. So what you want to do is you want to come out of your perfect player and we're going to go back into it again. It just takes a second to load up and you can see that it is downloading the EPG. So just make sure that you exit out and go back in and once you go back in it will reload for you and then you will have all your links and all your files. So again depending on who your service provider is those URLs are going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're using Team Expat. Like I said they're a great group of guys, um, guys and gals and they work really hard behind the scenes so um, thank you to them for allowing me to do this video and to show you guys what there is. Okay, so this you can see here we've got lots of channels, um, everything's in here and everything populated for us so now you're all set. If you have any questions please let me know. You can get me on Twitter at Savvy Tech Girl. Get me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Savvy Tech Girl and you can also get me on the web SavvyTechGirl.com. So thanks a lot guys. I hope this video helped you out and I look forward to doing more. Please uh, love the feedback and thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. See you again soon. Bye.